Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Thursday, June 18th. June 18th. Now, I'm going to say something that some people may come back and say, duh, <laughs> what was she thinking? But honestly, and I'm being honest, this hit me like, a ton of bricks. Earlier last week, hey mother, but then it was solidified in my in my worship and, and studying this morning. Okay, so <laughs> this sounds so simple and people are like, oh my goodness, you didn't know that? I think I think I just moved. Okay, here it is. I believe I just moved from an intellectual ascent to something. Now you can read something and say, mm, okay, yeah, I got that, I understand it. You can understand it like that at, at a surface level intellectually, but then when you really get it, it goes down into your soul and you can, you fully understand it. It goes beyond an intellect, an intellectual acknowledgement of something you it, it hits you you experience it it's an experiential learning hey Elliot okay so here's what I experienced this morning and I want to share with you because I think it, it it stays in line with where we are in our in our world in our nation with this thought of supremacy I'm better than you because and fill in the blank with a whole lot of stuff. Here's my realization. The more I understand about God's amazing grace, the less I have to feel superior over anyone about anything. So here's my breakdown. Every gift, every talent, every inclination, every skill, every experience that I have comes to me as a gift of grace from God. Everything, everything. So when I realize that it is, it has come to me as a gift, I didn't earn the gift. I didn't ask for the gift. I didn't, I wouldn't have known what to do with the gift. It was unmerited. It was unearned. It was undeserved. I simply have been gifted by God to do fill in the blank. All of your gifts and all your skills. When we recognize it as a gift, you don't brag because you have a gift. You didn't give it to yourself. You didn't earn it. You didn't deserve it. And so it really made me, surely, someone will say, Psh, I earned that degree with blood, sweat, and tears. That's why I got my promotion, because I went back to school and I got my degree. I earned that. I was the one writing papers. I was the one up um, doing the research. I earned that degree, and that's why I got the promotion on the job. Do you really think that there are not people who are degreed, who have more degrees, higher level degrees that are not working? They don't have a job, they are unemployed, and they got degrees. There are people who are more gifted and talented than you are, and they are homeless. There are people who have more brilliant intellect than you do, and yet they still they sit in somebody's jail jail cell right now. It is the gift of God to us that we made the decisions that we've done, that we've made, that He gave us the intellect, that He so I'm saying all of that, and again, it just sounds so simplistic. But every gift that we have has been given to us undeserved unearned, unmerited. 
He chose to give us this gift so that we would work in concert with each other and help each other. Not so that we would stop short of the full understanding, well, I got this good job because I went to school. No, because I flipped that back to you and, and asked you, to, what about the man who has more degrees and he's unemployed? What about that sister out there who has greater gifts and greater talents and she's homeless? It's his gift. So once I recognize, once I fully, once the weight of that hit me, I don't have the right. I should not have the audacity to think I am better than anyone, to think that I am more superior, to think that I earned it because of anything. No. He gave us the gift. I always talk about, about collaboration. God requires collaboration from us in this thing called life. He requires collaboration. He's not dropping chicken dinners from the sky. He's not dropping salmon and quinoa down from the sky. No, he put it out there. But guess what? We have to go work for that thing. That's part of our collaboration. So in, in this gifting area, in God's grace field era, what I've, what I've come to understand is that he grants us these gifts and skills and talents and inclinations and and minds that's a gift again unearned unmerited un undeserved but our responsibility is to take it and develop it and use it and increase it and strengthen it so that he gets the glory so that you can help your fellow brother and sister none of us can do this thing by ourselves but we go wrong uh, quick fast and in a hurry when we, when we think that, oh, I did that. Because if I allow myself to think that, for everybody who is sitting back looking at me like, duh, you just now figuring it out. <laughs> I'm telling you, it hit me experientially today. So all of all those who think that they are better than or superior to because of, I've got this, that, of all of that, because of that, for all of us who are thinking that, you've got to open your, you don't, we don't rate to think that we're better than anything because we got it. It's a gift. It was given. I didn't even rate it. I couldn't have earned it. God didn't wait for you to be born and say, oh, let me see what you can do. Hmm, let me see how smart you are. I think I'll make it. He didn't do that. It was already pre-decided. It was decided. I came with, with, the, with the DNA inside of me. And then I have to do something with it. So, so I, I think this, this thought of white supremacy, that you're better solely simply because you didn't even give yourself the intellect. You didn't give yourself that that charisma that you have. You didn't give yourself the skills. You didn't choose where you were born you didn't choose your skin tone you didn't choose we chose nothing and and yet we walk around and we treat others less than as if we've done something well i'm better <laughs> we're we're not in jail we're not dead because of his grace it's not as if you've never done anything to, to end up in jail it's not as if you didn't do some things that could have put you in the grave. It's been his grace all along. God's mercy, the, the mercy of God. And so I, I just, that sort of changed something for me today. Now, I don't think that I've ever been one to think <laughs> I'm better than because fill in the blank. I, I, I don't think I operate like that. But now I really fully understand I've got even less I've got less to brag about I've got less to feel pumped up and and prideful I didn't give it to myself <laughs> so again that that is that is my like mind-blowing revelation especially 
especially for those of us who claim the name of Jesus, especially for all of my evangelical Bible thumping, living in the Bible belt all your life, brothers and sisters, who on one hand will beat down anyone with the Bible quoting scripture revealing contest and on the very same hand look down on someone, treat someone less than, disrespect, minimize, disregard and degrade another as if the same God didn't make us all. So, okay, that, that's what I got. I just had to share. I just couldn't wait to come share this because it, it was so, so, so whatever you have, remember that you didn't earn it. You didn't deserve it because others have more of that same gift or talent or intellect or jobs and they're without. It's always been God's grace. Okay. It's a two part, two part collaboration. He grants us the gift and then we develop it so that. We can bless others, we can help others, we can strengthen others. Not so that we can rise over others and lord over others and uh, dehumanize others. Okay. Alrighty, thanks for joining me. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Check yourself. Check yourself. If, if there's been a hint, a hint, a sniff, a whiff of... <laughs> I'm better because, and then you start rolling out some things that you can tangibly touch or you can point to a degree on the wall. If you, if you have the audacity to go down that route, back way up and find out, recognize it was undeserved. You didn't earn it. You didn't deserve it. You didn't merit it. And yet you've been gifted with it. Okay. All righty. Thanks for joining me. Tomorrow is a wonderful celebratory day of Juneteenth and my our youngest daughter's birthday. So I'm hopeful that you will celebrate um, in honor of Juneteenth. And if you've never heard of Juneteenth, start there. Go, go Google it and, and see what the big deal is. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, take real good care of yourselves.